Good morning guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to speak about uh, the seven main difference that I've been noticing uh, uh, since I'm here in Sweden. So first main difference is the school system which is free here in Sweden. When I used to live in UK, in London, uh, I paid a lot for the university. They're, they're very expensive, you know. And other than that, there is the rent and the extra course. Uh, but here in Sweden, the university, uh, the bachelor level or master uh, or PhD are completely free and the government can help you with loan and grants. Second main difference is uh, the personal number. Uh, the personal number here in Sweden is comparable to the NIN number in UK, but uh, it's used basically everywhere. Whatever you do here in Sweden online or uh, you go to to do something they're gonna ask you for the personal number so I highly suggest you to get it as soon as you get here in Sweden. The third main difference is about the high quality living standards. Uh, I think here in Sweden the houses are much better. The windows, the aesthetics. Uh, when I used to live in London I was in a shared flat and obviously uh, you notice the difference when you move from Italy to London and then you go to another country and uh, I think here the houses are much much better and this helps a lot you know it makes you feel more comfortable and it makes you feel more uh, more at home let's say. The fourth main difference is uh, that you cannot buy alcohol everywhere in Sweden. Uh, if you go to a supermarket the maximum you can buy is a beer with a 3.5% alcohol. In order to buy something stronger for a party or uh, for a free party you need to go to the system Bolaget. I hope I pronounced it well, uh, excuse my, my Swedish. So that's where you can buy a normal bottle of wine, that's where you can buy vodka or rum, uh, whatever you need for the night. The fifth difference is about uh, how environmentally friendly the Swedish people are. When you buy a can or a plastic bottle uh, of a soft drink or uh, whatever the drink is, uh, you are charged one or two crowns which is the currency here in Sweden, which is approximately 10 or 20 cents euro and uh, when you go back to the store or to another store you can recycle you insert it in a machine and you get back to the money you paid for that bottle or for uh, that can so it's uh, it helps people to recycle and i think it's a really good method i honestly never seen it in uk or italy or any other place i have been the different number six is that I think that people in UK are more bubbly and it's easier to make friends uh, compared to here in Sweden where are, they are more introverts. That doesn't mean that it's obviously better in UK or more steer. I'm just telling the difference and uh, you have to get ready to, if you come from another country, to really adapt to the way they make friends. The last difference is about the customer service. Uh, I think the customer in UK uh, or in America uh, is king. So I remember when I went to the Apple store in London and because I had a problem with my headphones and uh, they did everything to, you know, to, to please me, to help me with, uh, with the problem. They replaced it uh, the same day. And meanwhile here in Sweden, uh, for the stores I have been, uh, the customer is not really treated as good as in UK, but probably that's my, that's my perspective. They are more relaxed here, more, uh, you know, more uh, calm, so uh, obviously they help you, but uh, not like in UK, uh, which can be a problem if you're used to a uh, UK customer service, but obviously it depends from, from you and from uh, which store you are. These were the seven main differences between UK and Sweden. Let me know if you have noticed something else uh, here in the comments down below. See you in the next video guys, bye!